Hello my friends, I'm Dr. Bree and I have my computer here because I want to read to you a little passage from a study that this move that we're doing today came from. Now this move has been clinically proven to be better than Kegels. So I'm going to tell you a little bit about it. If you want to just go straight to the move, check the timestamp in the video description, but just give me a minute here and I want to share with you what the move is and why I'm so excited about it. So basically, this is a, a move that research has shown is more effective than Kegel exercises alone. And it's awesome because it can be done by anybody. It doesn't matter if, you know, male, female. You can even do it if you are postpartum. Of course, you know, wait until you are feeling up for pelvic floor strengthening exercises. So you want to be about six weeks postpartum or longer. It depends on the person but great for postpartum recovery when you're ready for core strengthening. And it could even be done in different positions when you are pregnant. It can also be done by people of any age or stage. So believe me, this is not limited to prenatal and postpartum exercise. But interestingly, the study was actually done on 21 postpartum women. So these women were all at least six weeks postpartum. And what the results found, and by the way, I'll link to the study in the video description. This wording is directly from the study. It says, this study revealed that out of the six trials of exercise, the combo trial, which included a simultaneous activation of the abdominals, hip adductors, and pelvic floor muscles, elicited the highest activity in the pelvic floor. Our findings emphasized the possibilities of improved outcomes in pelvic floor muscle rehabilitation through the integration of abdominal, hip adductor, and pelvic floor muscle co-contractions as compared to isolated pelvic floor muscle contractions. So basically, this study showed that people it compared the effects of just doing adductor exercises, just doing abdominal exercises, and just doing Kegel exercises, or combining all three. And it found that the best pelvic floor activation was when you combined all three. So let's go ahead and get right to it. I'm gonna actually have you begin lying down, and then we'll talk about how you could even try this in different positions. So let's begin. You're gonna need something to squeeze between your knees, and in the study they used a ball, uh, and it was a little bigger than this, and it was firmer, but my ball just, <laughs> it won't get firmer than this for some reason. So if you have some kind of uh, exercise ball that you could use, that's great. Or you could use a yoga block, or you could use like a throw pillow that's nice and firm that you could maybe even double up. So I'm gonna just use the yoga block for convenience, but go ahead and come down onto your back and we will get this started. So the three moves that we're combining are an adductor move, and the adductors are your inner thigh muscles. And basically, because of the fascial connections in this area, they help to work synergistically with the pelvic floor, along with other muscles. There's lots of muscles that work synergistically with the pelvic floor. Nothing in the body exists in isolation, which is a really, really big uh, focus of a lot of the work that I do in my courses and programs. We want to get things working together. So that's why this exercise is so great. It's using the activation of those inner thigh muscles along with the pelvic floor contraction and the abdominal contraction too. So let's begin by breaking it down into each individual piece. Just feel how when you flop your knees out to the side and then bring your knees together, you're firing up and using those inner thigh muscles. So just kind of feel those muscles turning on. And you might be able to feel as you're doing this, okay, I can feel my inner thighs, and I can also feel a little something in my pelvic floor too. Do you feel that? So it's like your whole center of your body is firing up a little bit. Now, I want you to bring the block or pillow or ball between your knees, and I want you to squeeze against it. You don't have to go super hard, because if you go really hard, that can feel sometimes kind of funny. But just a gentle squeezing inward against the block, and you can try it on different heights. So you can try it the this way, or you can turn it and squeeze this way. It, it doesn't matter. See what you want to do. So squeeze gently against the block and feel those inner thigh muscles turning on even more. And you can probably feel your pelvic floor turning on a little bit too. Okay. So that's the first component of this exercise. The second component, go ahead and let your muscles go. 
The second component is a kegel. So the kegel squeeze is a squeeze and lift of your pelvic floor muscles. Feel as if you are stopping the flow of urine and the passing of gas. So go ahead and feel that you are squeezing and lifting the anus. And if you are a female, that you're squeezing and lifting the vagina as well. So you're squeezing off the pee area, the genital area, and the anus area, and squeezing and lifting those muscles, and then release. Now, we're gonna be holding the, this combined move for five seconds. Let's do it again. We're squeezing and lifting. Feel as if you're squeezing off the flow of urine. If you are a female, you are squeezing and lifting gently the vaginal area, and then everyone, we're gently squeezing and lifting the anus too. So squeezing and lifting and holding for five, four, three, two, one, and then release. Feel that the anus is dropping and lowering. The vagina, if you're a female, is dropping and lowering. The pee area is dropping and lowering. Everything is just releasing and relaxing. All right, so that was the kegel, the, the pelvic floor component. But see, this combined exercise is more effective than isolated kegels alone. So that's why we're combining it with this thigh squeeze and also the next move, which is uh, a, an abdominal hollowing. So for this move again, right now we're just breaking down into the components. We did the inner thigh part, we did the kegel part, now we're going to do the abdominal part. So I want you to feel as if you are gently scooping out and hollowing your low abdominal area. So your pelvic floor will turn on a little bit. You'll feel it because again, nothing exists in isolation. So you'll feel a little activation in your pelvic floor. But I want you to think of that low ab area. Feel like you're gently pulling it inward and kind of hollowing out this area. Now, some people might find that it actually is easier if they also press their low back into the mat. Now, you can do it either way. You can press your low back into the mat but that puts you out of alignment. It puts you in kind of a funny position for your posture. So you might wanna practice it doing that way at first, but ultimately be in a position that you wanna live your life in, in a nice posture where you're not overly arched, but you're also not necessarily tucked under like this. So try to find that neutral alignment and see if you can hollow out your abdominal area in this neutral alignment position. One way that you can try this and it can help you is if you go shh and when you do that shh sound with your mouth you can feel kind of that hollowing and gently pulling in of that lower ab area so that is the next component is this five second hold of this hollowing out feeling of your abs so let's go ahead and release and try that abdominal component one more time so and gently hollowing out this low ab area, just gently pulling in and lifting a little bit. Yes, your pelvic floor is activated too, but right now I want you to focus more on the abdominals, what's happening, holding it for five, four, really firm, three, two, one, squeeze and lifted, and relax. So now we put it all together and we do our magical three-in-one move that is more effective than kegels alone as proven by this research paper. So block between your knees or the ball or the pillow. We're gonna do it all at once. You're gonna squeeze against the block gently. You're gonna lift your pelvic floor, so squeeze and, squeeze and lift your pelvic floor muscles like you're stopping the flow of urine, stopping the passing of gas, feeling that lift, and you're hollowing out your low abs too. So it's a lot happening all at once, but we can do it. Here we go. So make sure you're nice and relaxed. Whew, let it all go. And then let's do the move. So here we go. You can kind of break it apart. Let's do knees press in. We lift our pelvic floor and we hollow out our low abs. Now hold it all gently pressing for five, four, three, two, one, and release it all. Take a big deep belly breath and if you didn't get the hang of it that time, we're gonna try it again. So again, you can kind of bring the components in one at a time, but ultimately I want them all to be happening at the same time. So you're squeezing the block, you're squeezing and lifting the pelvic floor, and you're gently pulling, hollowing out your abdominal area too. So let's try it. Here we go. Okay. 
Make sure you're relaxed and let's do our next rep. So squeeze against the block, lift your pelvic floor, do your kegel, and then hollow out your low abs, nice and firm, holding it for five, hollowed out four, three, squeeze, squeeze, lift, lift, hollow out, two, one, and release. Again, it's just a lot to think about, but just know that you are activating your entire core. You're co-contracting these muscles as a unit, which is how they work together in normal daily functional life. They should work together. When you're doing most activities of daily living that require your core, you're not just contracting one piece of your core. They should always be working together as a team. And this exercise helps make that happen. Okay, let's try it in a different position just for fun. If you maybe aren't able to be on your back, maybe you're pregnant and you wanna try this in a different position. I don't see why we can't try it on our hands and knees. Why not? Let's make, it the, let's make the move our own. <laughs> the study researchers might disagree with me, but I hope you're okay with it, study researchers. Let's go on our hands and knees and try it. So put the block between your knees and gently squeeze the knees together. Now, just know that different things you do with your leg position will impact your pelvic floor. But for the purposes of this exercise, just to play around and have some fun, let's just have our legs straight back and gently pressing inward against the block. Now, in this position, squeeze against the block. We'll see if this works, I don't know. We'll give it a try. Squeeze against the block, squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Maybe even try to, the block a different position. So I just flipped it so it's sideways now. And squeeze inward. And in this position, think about doing your kegel. So lifting your pelvic floor, it's different in this position. And then also lift your belly, hollow out your belly. But in this case, it's gonna be lifting up away from the ground. So you might find that you want to kind of arch into a cat back. Try not to go into too much of a cat back here because that's not what we want. Try to keep your spine fairly neutral as you hollow out your, your low abs too. So squeezing against the block, doing your kegel, hollowing out your low abs, and release. Ha! Ah, that was a lot. Swing out your hips. And another position we can try it in is actually in kind of a wall squat. So let's give this a shot too. We're gonna come up carefully, exhale with your transitions, and what you can do is come up against the wall and make sure that your feet are under your knees. And this is a really great position actually to just work on your pelvic mobility. So see how it feels to just arch your back away from the wall and then press your low back into the wall and just see how that feels with your pelvis. When your feet are stable on the ground and your upper body is stable on the ground, you really have to isolate this move just to your pelvic area. And it's a lot of work. And your thighs are, of course, getting the work too. But let's go ahead and see if we can bring in this exercise. So just kind of play around with your pelvic positioning and then find that neutral alignment here. And let's bring in our block, squeeze against the block, squeezing inward. Now lift your pelvic floor, do a little kegel, squeezing and lifting, like you're squeezing and picking up a blueberry with your anus. I know that's weird, but it's really a helpful cue. You're picking up a blueberry with your anus, and now you're hollowing out your low abs, hollowing out. This combination, inner thighs, pelvic floor is lifted, low abs are hollowing in and up, holding it, and then release. Now, don't just like flop. <laughs> we wanna gently release. I'm gonna set down the yoga block, and I'm going to carefully come up. Ooh. Oh, okay, and I'm gonna come back down just to get close to my microphone and camera. But that's the move, and I just encourage you to make it your own. Have fun playing with this stuff. We learn things in the research, we learn things from science, and then we bring it into our real world reality, and we make it our own, and we see how our body responds. What works for me might not work for you. And that's one thing that I really like teaching all of my clients and all of the students in my programs is that what works for me doesn't work for everybody. So you've got to learn how to trust yourself and listen to the signals of your body. But just know that research has shown this to be a very effective move and more effective than kegels even. So see if you find a position that works for you where you can activate your inner thighs, 
your pelvic floor, and your low abs all at the same time in a combination. And if you want the link to the research article, you can check the video description and also check there for more ways that we can work together. I hope this has been helpful for you. And if it has, please give it a like and share it with someone who needs it. The more we get this information in front of more eyes, the more people who are gonna feel strong and healthy for life. So the pelvic floor matters. And I know you know that too if you're watching my channel. So please help me spread awareness by getting this information in front of more eyes. Um, until next time, remember to eat clean, move every day, and you will shine brighter. Thanks for watching.